Welcome back to IMAP Invasives, the online invasive species database and reporting tool powered by NatureServe and used in several jurisdictions across North America. In this tutorial, we will be learning about how to submit a presence record to IMAP Invasives while using a browser. Most browsers will work except for Internet Explorer and Microsoft Edge. So make sure you're using Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or any other compatible browser. To get started, go to imapinvasives.org for the IMAP network website or your jurisdiction site if you know it. For example, New York's is nyimapinvasives.org. From here, you can click on the green login in the top right. You can enter in your login credentials here or create an account just below. Note that you will not be able to submit a record without logging into your IMAP Invasives account. For extra support on creating and setting up your account, please see our other tutorials. So you found a potential invasive species and you want to submit a record. If you know the location, zoom to it before you start this process. You can zoom in and pan around using the mouse, or you can use the search on map button to type in an address or location. For this, we'll just keep it simple and go to Albany, New York. Once you're at the location, it might take a little bit to load, but once it does, you should see that the hexagons have turned into green points. These points each represent specific invasive species records. Please feel free to explore any of the nearby records. So to start creating a record, click on the Create Record button with a plus icon in the Action Tools across the top. If you don't see this and instead you see a gear icon labeled Tools, this just means that your Action Tools have combined to fit better on the screen just click the Tools button in the top right, and this will show all of your action tools. After clicking on Create a Record, this will pop up with a little menu asking about what type of record it will be. Today, we will be focusing on creating presence records, meaning that the invasive species was observed and present at the location. If you want to know more about the other types of records, please see our other training materials. Once you decide your record type, in this case, we're doing presence, click on that button and you will be prompted to draw your searched area. Your searched area will either be a single point defined by GPS coordinate or dropping a pin on the map. It can also be a line or it can be a polygon that you draw the perimeter of. Today we'll focus on doing a polygon since it's the most complex. And so once you click on that, you can start dropping points on the map by left clicking and drawing the boundary of it. Double click to finish the boundary and you will be prompted to redraw or edit as necessary. When you're happy with your searched area, click on Next. This will bring you to the presence record details. Here, you can choose the species by typing in the common or scientific name. You can also search through the drop-down list, but it's much easier to type it in. Today, we will be using a fake species presence record as an example, and it's the first one on the list. This fake species is designed so that you can upload as many records as you would like to practice and familiarize yourself with the program. Your name should pop up automatically here. Check to make sure it's correct, along with the date, and then you can scroll down to see the other species information. The first thing you should do is to submit a photo if you have one. You could submit one or multiple photos, and try to pick the best ones so that they're easily identifiable. Some records cannot be confirmed if there are no pictures to correctly identify the species, so make sure you get some good photos. 
After uploading your photos, most of the details below are optional, but feel free to add any relevant information. The fake species is designed to be a plant, so if you're doing another type like an animal, then it will have slightly different options. Again, these are all optional. If you want to add any more information, you can click on Edit Advanced Details. This will prompt you with many more optional fields. Once you've typed everything in, you can click on Next, and this will bring you to the summary view. Here, double check to make sure everything is correct. Note that the advanced details are left out of the summary view. Double check that you have submitted a photo if you have one, since this greatly increases your chances of becoming a confirmed record. After reviewing the summary, you can click on complete at the bottom. And now you have successfully submitted a record to IMAP Invasives. That's all you need to know about submitting an invasive species record. So we encourage you to explore the application and everything that IMAP Invasives has to offer. Happy mapping.